Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we will create a simple Spring Boot Hello World REST API. Well, creating REST APIs using Spring Boot is very very simple. Alright, so let's head over to the IntelliJ IDEA and let's quickly create a simple Spring Boot REST API. Well, go to the main package over here and within that, let's quickly create a one more package and let's call it as controller. Well, within a controller package, we keep all the Spring MUC controllers. Now let's go ahead and let's create a Spring MUC controller. Well, right click on the controller package, new and then choose Java class and let's give class name as a hello world controller. Well, notice here the naming convention for the Java class, hello world controller. Well, whenever we create a Spring MUC controller, we always use controller as a suffix for this class name. And here, hello world is nothing but a resource followed by controller is a suffix for this resource. Okay, so this is the hello world controller. Some of the developers also use other naming convention like hello world resource. But in typical Spring MUC projects, we use the naming convention like hello world controller. Okay, we always use controller string as a suffix for a controller name. Okay, now we have hello world controller. Go ahead and hit enter. Now we have created a Java class. Let's make this Java class as a Spring MUC controller by using add controller annotation. Well, let's go ahead and let's annotate this class with add controller annotation. And notice here, add controller annotation is a stereotype annotation from org.springframework.stereotype package. So let's go ahead and let's select this annotation over here. Well, whenever we develop the RESTful web services using Spring MUC, all the REST API is return a JSON to the client, right? So in order to convert a Java object into JSON, we have to use at response body annotation. So let me go ahead and let me use at response body annotation over here. Well, whenever we develop the RESTful web services using Spring MUC, we always use these two annotations, isn't it? We use at controller annotation to make this controller class as a Spring MUC controller and we use at response body annotation to convert a response from Java object to JSON and that JSON will be again written into HTTP response. Well, as we know that whenever we develop the RESTful web services using Spring MUC, we have to create a controller class and we have to annotate this controller class with these two annotations, isn't it? Spring team thought like why not we create a shortcut single annotation, it internally uses these two annotations, right? So Spring team released at rest control annotation, it internally uses these two annotations. For example, let me remove these two annotations and here let me use at rest controller annotation over here. Well, Spring 4.0 released this at rest controller annotation and this annotation is a combination of at controller and at response body annotation. For example, if we dive into the source code of this at rest control annotation, here you can able to see this annotation is annotated with at controller annotation as well as at response body annotation okay so at rest control annotation is nothing but it is a combination of controller and response body annotation well instead of using these two annotations we can use the shortcut single annotation that is at rest controller annotation all right perfect let's go back to hello world controller now we have annotated our hello world controller class with the at rest controller annotation okay just remember Whenever you want to develop RESTful web services using Spring MUC, you have to annotate a class with the at rest controller annotation. Now this class becomes a Spring MUC REST controller. Within this REST controller, we can create the REST APIs. Now within a hello world controller, let's go ahead and let's create the REST API. So creating a REST API is pretty simple. We just have to create a method and we use Spring annotations to make that method as a REST API. Okay, perfect. So here just type the method public and let's give return type of the method as a string and let's give method name as hello world. Perfect. And let's return some string something like hello world. Now we have created simple Java method. Let's make this Java method as a REST API using Spring annotation. Well, this is going to be a HTTP GET request right so let's go ahead and let's use at get mapping annotation to handle http get request well basically we use at get mapping annotation to map 
incoming HTTP GET request to this method. Okay, and next let's go and let's configure the URL for this REST API. So here, let's pass the URI something like hello hyphen world. Perfect. So whenever a client want to access this REST API, then client have to use this URL. For example, HTTP colon localhost colon 8080 slash hello world perfect so whenever a client want to access this rest api then client have to use this url all right perfect so let me copy this url now let's go ahead and let's run the spring boot application and let's see how this rest api works so let me stop the existing server and let me start the spring boot application again and look at here our spring boot application is up and running in an embedded tomcat server on port 8080 well this is the get rest api so we can access this rest api using browser so let's go to a browser in a new tab just paste this url that is http localhost colon 8080 slash hello world and hit enter and there we go you can able to see the client got a response from the rest api and if you can see the rest api this rest api returns hello world string isn't it and you can see in the browser the client got hello world in a response it means that we have successfully developed Spring Boot Hello World REST API and it is working as expected. Well, creating the REST APIs using Spring Boot is very, very simple. We just have to create a Spring MUC controller and we need to annotate it with add REST controller annotation. And within a controller, we need to create the Java methods and we need to annotate it with appropriate, you know, HTTP annotations. For example, this annotation is used to handle HTTP GET request. So there are a couple of you know annotations like add post mapping annotation add put mapping annotation add delete mapping annotation so these annotations we use to handle a different http request like http get request post request delete request put request isn't it well we'll see how we can use all these annotations in upcoming lectures in next lecture we'll create a spring boot rest api it returns a java bean as a json to the client all right great i will see you in the next lecture